Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now it was one of my favorites, Sade, who said it's never as good as the first time. I think that's the case with Daniel Dubois. Now don't get me wrong, Dubois is immensely talented. He probably is a future heavyweight champion. But if you look at him, I believe the first time you're in the ring with him is the hardest. It's hard to tell the angles from which he's throwing punches. Right? He's bigger than Tyson, unlike Tyson, and it's a big difference. He needs a little bit of a cushion. He likes to throw hooks, but the way he moves his body, and he's quick, but the way he moves his body, it's hard to tell the first time you're in the ring with him, at least that's how it looks to me looking at film where his punches are coming from. And because he's fast, the heavy punches start landing and you're defenseless. He's also a hunter. You'll notice that he doesn't intend to be on his back foot when he's in the ring with you. Right, he's a guy who's on his front foot. He's trying to walk you down. Many of his victims end up with their backs against the ropes as Dubois punishes them. Dubois also isn't trying to win a decision. He's trying to get a stoppage. So the way he's fighting, he's throwing a high percentage of heavy shots. He's not spending a lot of time trying to win slow rounds. He doesn't want the rounds to be slow, right? He's had a lot of success. He bypassed the Olympics. He's on the fast track in his professional career. He has already sparred with people like Anthony Joshua, who, according to folklore, he knocked down in sparring and he's also sparred with Tyson Fury, who's picking him in this fight over Joe Joyce. Now I'm not. The bet I'm recommending here is Joe Joyce, in part because of the value. Joe Joyce at a better than plus 250 to win the fight, hedged with Dubois by KO. Let's talk about the Joe Joy side of the ledger because this is one of the more interesting sides in boxing. Joe Joyce is the person who succeeded Anthony Joshua as the super heavyweight representative for the United Kingdom in the Olympics. And Joyce got a medal, right? He got the silver medal in the Olympics. Joe Joyce is older. He's in his 30s. When you look on film, Joe Joyce is slower. Guys like Anthony Joshua, guys like Daniel Dubois are a bit more explosive than Joe Joyce. They're faster. Their punches get there quicker. They can surprise you. You see Joe Joyce coming. But understand, online here, you're going to notice that Joe Joyce has been in the ring with people like Alexander Usyk. Now, it doesn't show up on Joyce's record because it's in the World Boxing Super Series. But you can look at the fight, and you'll notice that Joe looks slow. You'll notice Joe looks methodical. Right? Usyk's on his back foot throughout the fight. But you also notice that 
Joe Joyce is completely confident. He's a late comer to the sport of boxing with a lot of confidence. This guy is not easily dissuaded. The Usyk fight goes the distance. You'll also notice that Joe Joyce, in addition to sparring with people like Tyson Fury, that Joe Joyce has taken a tour of some of boxing's best trainers. Right, I believe for a time he was with Abel Sanchez, Golovkin's trainer. I believe he was with Freddie Roach for a period of time. I believe he was with Adam Booth, David Hayes' former trainer, for a period of time. I believe it's a mistake, a huge mistake, to look at a fighter who might look slower. And I don't mean mentally, I'm talking about physically, right? A fighter who doesn't seem to have a lot of quick twitch muscles. It's a mistake to look at that guy and reach the conclusion that the guy is simply too slow to compete, right? Some excellent fighters fought at a slower pace. What happens with world-class fighters like George Foreman who were slower than their opposition is those guys are forced to be technicians, right? A technician often, uh, you do have fast twitch technicians. Floyd Mayweather was a technician, but technicians often are guys who don't have the physical gifts of an opponent, right? Dubois is faster, likely hits harder than Joe Joyce, right? Just like Manny Pacquiao was faster and hit harder than Juan Manuel Marquez. So what a technician has to do is a technician has to develop a technique that offsets the physical dominance of an opponent that gives the technician a path to victory. Now years ago I was here online and I made a negative video on Joe Joyce. I said this guy is too slow. He doesn't have it. He's unbeaten now. It's going to fall apart later. Let me retract that video right here on camera. Right? Of all the fighters in boxing, Joe Joyce is on my very short list of guys who have improved their games the most. Understand, both Deontay Wilder and Joe Joyce fought for Maine Stavern, Chris Ariola as well. Of all of those guys, the person who looked the most impressive against Bermain Stavern was Joe Joyce. Understand, Joe Hanks is a guy who I personally feel is talented. Right, Joe Hanks lost to Andy Ruiz before he fought Joe Joyce. But let me just say that Joe Joyce fight is interesting. I think Hanks starts out okay. I think Joyce makes the adjustments. Now the kind, the fight only lasts like a round. Right? Because of the odds, I was on the Hank side of the play. Let's just say I was impressed with Joyce. Joyce is two-handed. I'll concede Dubois is the better athlete. But Dubois is a fastball pitcher to me. What I mean by a fastball pitcher is he's a guy who has a style that he knows works for him. He can physically overpower you. He stands a little bit away from you, and then he starts throwing these big hooks. He knows how to head hunt. The million dollar question, especially after the Richard Lardy fight, where while Lardy is getting pummeled, Lardy gets Dubois into a shootout in the middle of the ring. And you notice a few things. When the other guy's in the middle of the ring, doesn't have his back up against the ropes, and starts to trade punches with Dubois, you notice that Dubois' defense falls apart. You also notice that if a lot of punches are thrown, 
In my opinion, this is controversial, one man's opinion, Dubois' stamina starts to fall apart. Right? Joe Joyce is a thinking man's fighter. This is a guy who knows he's slower. He's confident. He's been pushing for a fight with Anthony Joshua. Right? The UK Olympic gold medalist from the Olympics before him. Right? Joyce has been waiting for his shot. I get the feeling he's a quick study. He's not a fastball pitcher. You look at Joe Joyce fights and you notice he's worked on things like spacing. He alters the spacing. The types of punches he throws. Joyce has a jab. Joyce can win the slow rounds. Joyce is willing to have slow rounds. I believe the biggest fact about this fight is the fact that these two guys have sparred before. A technician, think Juan Manuel Marquez, very first Manny Pacquiao fight. A technician, the first time he sees you, might not know the angles from where the punches are coming. Floyd Mayweather, notorious slow starter in fights. Right In the early rounds, a technician is looking at you trying to deconstruct you, trying to figure out what you're doing. If you're quick, if the angles are unexpected, you might be able to have success early. A technician has a learning curve. But here, Dubois has already been in the ring with Joyce. Joyce has already seen Dubois angles. And I'm telling you, if anyone in boxing pays attention to angles, it's technicians. Right? Joyce might have figured out that if he can just block Dubois' shots early, Dubois' defense and his stamina are going to fade sometime during the fight. Understand, if this fight goes the distance, then Dubois will not have succeeded at his A game, which is taking out guys. Right? If this fight goes the distance, at some point, technique is going to take over. Understand, older guys do more with less than younger guys. I think the age gap here is significant, right? In terms of Joyce's understanding of the game. I think Dubois is a guy who comes in and who assumes he's going to get you on your back foot. He assumes you're going to concede that he is the bigger puncher in the match who has the better chance of hurting you. I believe Joyce is the guy who understands that neither of those is true. That Joyce himself has a punch. Joe Hanks KO'd early. That Slow rounds are there to be won by one of the fighters. That technique can offset youth and power. So if this fight goes a distance, I think it's more likely that Joe Joyce wins the decision than it is Daniel Dubois. Let me also say, too, the cushion that Dubois likes... Again, different than Mike Tyson. Look at Tyson, Marvis Fraser. Right, Tyson is on Marvis Fraser. That's prime Tyson. That's pre-Buster Douglas Tyson. Right? I think Tyson's shorter than Dubois. This was in the 80s, um, Larry Holmes era, where a lot of heavyweights were taller. 
I think the taller heavyweights had a hard time seeing Tyson's punches. And the fact that Tyson didn't need a cushion, the fact that Tyson could completely collapse the pocket and still have leverage to throw hellacious uppercuts, hooks to the head, shots to the body, made him extremely dangerous. Technicians didn't have time to think against Prime Mike Tyson. Now you're going to notice the pacing on Dubois is different, the spacing is different. Because Dubois likes to have a little bit of a cushion, because he's taller than Tyson and wants to extend his arms a little bit, that spacing is going to give Joe Joyce time to think. The familiarity, the fact that these guys have sparred privately, should give Joe Joyce the opportunity to survive the early rounds, right? You get to the middle of the fight, the middle of the fight, and that's where people are going to start to notice that Joe Joyce has fought the better opposition, right? That Joe Joyce has fought Brian Jennings, for example. Right, a guy who once fought Vladimir Klitschko for the heavyweight title. That Joe Joyce's fort remains Stavern. I know Stavern is a potted plant. Hits hard. Right? Stavern hits as hard, quite frankly, as Daniel Dubois. Right? And was a former champion. Understand it's Stavern who loses to Deontay Wilder. That's how Wilder gets his title. Right? It's Joyce who's fought the tougher competition. It's Joyce who understands the importance of winning the slower rounds. It's Joyce who isn't a fastball pitcher. He doesn't have just a plan A. He has a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, a plan D. He's the one who's going to be making the adjustments. And the fact that you're getting him at better than two to one odds makes him to me the clear gambling play here. Now, I'm not going to be silly. I recognize the power of youth, speed, right? Aggression. Um, I understand how hard Dubois hits, as does Anthony Joshua, right? Who got knocked down by Dubois, according to reports. I'm going to hedge the play with Dubois by stoppage, right? If the young guy comes in and does his thing, great. But let's explain the hedge. If Dubois wins by stoppage, I'm okay just breaking even, right? My real play here is to take advantage of the plus 250 odds. And that's the low end. Some casinos are offering a plus 300 odds on Joe Joyce, right? I think Joyce is the kind of guy who is working with the trainer. Let's say Abel Sanchez. Learns a few things from Abel Sanchez, is a very high IQ guy, right? And incorporates those things and then moves on. He doesn't need the superstar trainers long term. I believe this is a guy who is malleable. In other words, he can process and incorporate new information. Now, while I have seen that with some younger guys, right? Mayweather. Um, right now, Virgil Ortiz, right? These are young guys who seem to, you know, you watch them. The guy has lateral movement even after big punches, Right? The guy isn't relying on his most successful attribute to win fights, even when he has the other guy outgunned. He's working on other parts of his game. While I have seen that in some young guys, most young guys in boxing tend to rely on their A game 
right? They don't understand the need for a B, C, and D game until they're well into their 20s. I think Dubois is a little bit young. I think the Lardy fight shows that he has a few things to work on. Now, let me just say this. Don't get me wrong. I'd still take him over some of the more established heavyweights, right? I don't believe that in a sport where Ali's heavyweight champion at 22 and Tyson's even younger and Floyd Patterson got the belt in his early 20s, I don't think tomorrow is promised to anyone. If you have the skills today and you get a shot at the title, take it. That's the way I look at it. But understand, I don't think Dubois right now understands the game the way Joe Joyce does. A latecomer to the sport, a guy who wasn't a prodigy, someone who was overlooked, who has to work to learn the sport, who has the maturity to look around and see some people in the sport succeeding at an older age with fewer physical gifts, right? I believe Joe Joyce understands the importance of a jab, of spacing, of pacing, of learning new things, of having a plan B, C, and D. This fight might be too early for Daniel Dubois, right? It would be different if the two guys were completely unfamiliar with each other. But could you imagine hearing that Manny Pacquiao had sparred with Juan Manuel Marquez before their first fight? Knowing how cagey, how able to make adjustments Marquez is, you would say to yourself, wow, you know, Manny Pacquiao is a guy who surprises a lot of people with the speed and power of that straight left. If Marquez saw that in training camp, if Marquez sparked several rounds with the guy, right, Marquez might be able to survive the early rounds better. There wouldn't be a, wow, what's this? Oh, I'm surprised moment. Well, that could be this fight, right? Again, Joyce, silver medalist in the Olympics, has sparred with big names, looks slow on film, but knows how to fight. Understand, if anyone knows he's a little bit slower handed, it would be Joe Joyce. Not only that, the fact that Joyce has sparred with people like Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, the fact that Joyce is the kind of guy who seeks out the Abel Sanchez's, Freddie Roach's, and Adam Booth's of the world, tells me that this is an older student of the game who has waited his entire life for this opportunity to shock the world. Right? No need to put a bow on the package. If you're going to give me greater than a plus 200 on the Joe Joyce side of the play, wrap it up. I'll take it. I am going to hedge the play with Dubois by KO, but I'm going to structure it in such a way that if a KO happens and it's Dubois, I can say, okay, all right. You know, he got the KO. I didn't lose any money. But if Joyce wins, oh, man party time. That's how I see this. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.